There are six formations for the strategic strike module, including the second artillery force. This is the formation of conventional missiles DF-15B and DF-16. Formation is led by Major General Shen Guoqiang. They are the weapon of choice for conducting short-range precision strikes. Here comes the second formation of conventional missiles, led by Major General Li Jin. The DF-21D is a land-based anti-ship ballistic missile. It serves as one of China's important weapons in asymmetric warfare. the third formation of conventional missiles led by Major General Yu Chao. The CJ-10 cruise missile is capable of stealth penetration, compound guidance, consecutive attacks, and high precision to inflict powerful damage. It is one of China's main battle armaments. Here comes the formation of missiles for both nuclear and conventional use. It's led by Major General Xue Jinfeng. The DF-26 can conduct medium to long range precise attacks on key ground targets and large to medium naval ships. It is China's new weapon in its strategic deterrent system. And this is the first formation of nuclear missiles. It is led by Major General Wang Bingfang. What we are seeing now is DF-31A, a solid propelled intercontinental ballistic missile. The DF-31A it is an important strategic armament in maintaining national security and world peace. And here comes the second formation of nuclear missiles, led by Major General Zhang Mingguo. The DF-5B is an intercontinental ballistic missile. It is a shield in the defense of national sovereignty and national dignity.